Um, we were kind of putting on our heels. Those first eight minutes, eight, eight, eight or so minutes, we played tentative. You know, didn't want to attack downhill and things like that. And I mean, they, that that forced seven turnovers in the first, you know, five or six minutes. So, um, I mean, we kind of shot ourselves in the foot on that one. Um, but I mean, from then on, I think we, we competed, we played hard. Um, we got what down 16, 17. Um, we could just never turn the corner, um, things like that. So, I mean, it, it was tough. It's a tough night. Um, you know, they shot the ball very well. Um, we really couldn't, we really didn't shoot the ball well from three, but, you know, we got to come ready to play in those first eight minutes or, you know, we'll end up with my outcomes like this. Did you expect them to press pretty much the whole game like they did? Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that, that's the way, you know, Coach Weir has, has, has put in, you know, implemented with them is they want to play fast, they want to speed you up. So uh, they, they're going to press for 40 minutes. You know, you got to be ready for it. Um, the first eight minutes, we weren't ready for it, and it showed. Chris, a lot of your best wins have been on the road this year. At home, it seems been a struggle. Mm-hmm. Is there anything you can explain why playing here in Moby has been such a tough go for you guys this year? Um, I, 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 mean, I kind of think that's what, that's what every team, um, with every team you watch, you know, at home, they kind of get more comfortable um, just because they're at home. And, uh, you know, it, we think shots will fall and things like that. And then, you know, they come out and they don't. You know, we kind of kind of panic and things like that. But um, I don't think it's just us. You know, I think it's a lot of teams that you watch. You know, that happens in playing at home. Um, I think on the road, you, you kind of have more more fire to you and and uh, have more energy to you and things like that. Um, so, I mean, it is what it is. You know, we just got to get back get back to work and and uh, you know get ready for 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 Wednesday. Um, I think it was just we we're scrambling a lot on defense, and the fact that we just we didn't play, I guess, our way of basketball. Um, usually we front the bigs, and they started getting it in their um, post position, and they got to their their strong hand, and they started scoring down low, and they started dropping it off too. So it was just a lot of easy baskets for them. And once you get easy baskets, baskets, your uh, your flow of the game gets better. So that's what happened. Um, I mean, everyone everyone's gonna count us out. You know, no one has us winning any games and things like that. But we don't we don't we don't worry about what everyone else had to say. You know, we worry about the people in the locker room. And at the end of the day, we know we we can be in games with big time teams and things like that. I mean, it showed on uh, Sunday. We were in the game, the game for the most part of the game. Um, it got away from us kind of at the end by free throws and, and layups and things like that. But you know, when we bring it and we're ready to play. You know, we're, we're pretty damn good. Mm-hmm. Uh, like I said earlier, I mean at home we kind of kind of more comfortable. You know we think things are going to work out more. Shots will fall. Um, when they don't, you know we kind of start to look around and 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 try to you know find the answer. You know with a quick bucket and things like that, and that that mounts up. Um, and on the road it's just you know you just go out there and play. You know it, you, no one expects you to win the road game and things like that. So you just go out there and play basketball, and you know just let the chips fall where they may. Um, it's definitely frustrating, especially the uh, the way they were shooting. They they wouldn't miss, and uh, it's just frustrating to see that as a, as a team. And you know we're, we were struggling too in the first half, but at the end of the day we got to keep fighting. And um, we know we're gonna fight when uh, the Mountain West Conference tournament happens, and we know we got each other's back. And it's at the end of the day we're gonna fight. Yeah, it'd be nice um, just to, you know, regroup and get our minds right going to this tournament. Um, anything can happen. Uh, you know, you can catch a team on a bad day and beat them. You know, you could have a great great shooting night and beat a team. Anything happens in these tournaments, single elimination, there's no tomorrow. So, I mean, everyone's, you know, playing with their life on the line. You know, I thought uh, – I didn't think we came out ready to play, which was disappointing. Um, with, with that good a team and the way they play, they kind of smack you in the mouth and they try to bully you a little bit early. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I didn't think we were ready to play, and I think that showed. I mean, you know, that game was lost in the first eight or ten minutes. I thought we responded the second half, not giving up, uh, took better care of the ball, turned them over a little bit. But, you know, when you dig yourself that big a hole against that good a team, it's it's about impossible to get out of it. You talked about the physicality, but also that press defense. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, that's what they do. You know, I mean, they, they, they run up and down those stairs at the pit. They run every day. Um, he's done an extremely good job of getting them to buy into that style of play, and they play really fast with really good pace, you know, and they turn the ball over more tonight than what they normally do. You know, normally they don't turn it over that much. Um, but, you know, they're, they're tough to play against. They, they know what they are. They know who they are, and they execute extremely well. Oh, we just didn't keep in front of us. I mean, you know, when you've you've got to be able to guard the basketball and keep it in front of you and stay out of rotations. And you know, when you're you're getting beat, the next guy's stepping up. And if we ain't, if we ain't helping the helper, they're dropping it for layups. You know, something that we wanted to do was get them off the three, but they they played extremely well inside the three. I think in the first half they were maybe 15 to 16 from two or 16 to 17 from two, something like that. But um, you know, they just, they, they've got really good guards. Like I said, they know what they want, they know who they are, and they, they execute that extremely well. Um, that's something we'll, we'll, we'll talk moving forward and kind of evaluate, uh, you know, as a staff and everybody with administration. Mm hmm. Um, we talked about, you know, just keeping our heads up first and foremost, getting in the gym. You know, nobody's playing as well as they want to play. Uh, they've got 24-hour access to this gym. We'll be up here as much as they want us to be up here. If they need help, they ask. We'll be here. Um, you know, it's just getting out of your way mentally a little bit too, getting over that roadblock mentally, getting in the gym, clearing your head, getting shots up, working on your game, getting you feeling a little better about yourself, and then those shots start going. Yeah, I think it could. Um, I think it's really going to help us just kind of reset, you know, help Prentice finish getting healthy, um, get everybody back to neutral a little bit, um, you know, concentrate on our academics, our appointments and stuff like that, knocking out everything we need to before we go on the road for the conference tournament and then spring break. You know, we just talked about, I mean, kind of, Kind of similar to Boise, just going out there and playing, playing with pride, playing for Colorado State, playing for who's on our chest, and you know taking pride in, in who you're guarding. You know at that that rate we we're I think on pace to give up 116 or something like that, which we almost did anyway. But we played harder in the second half. I thought we played more for each other in the second half. I thought we shared the ball, um, and I thought they played with more energy and passion. It's been a weird deal. Yeah. You know, last year, I mean, we weren't we, we were better at home last year than this year, but we played really well on the road last year as well. Um, so, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's a mental thing where we relax and, and think things are going to work out a little bit at home, or you know, we don't we don't come with the same focus and concentration. I think that's, you know, I think that's tough to put a finger on. But you know, right now there's no more road games, no more home games. It's all neutral. So you know, we're going to go out there and give it our best shot, and these guys are going to be ready to play um, come Wednesday. Uh, no, uh, we're worrying about Colorado State and what we can control. Yeah. I think so. I think after today it will. Yeah. You know, I think give us a little bit of reset, take tomorrow off. These guys get and get treatment, academic appointments, all that stuff. But, um, you know, I think it's something we can look forward to. I think those guys like playing in it. Historically, you know, we've done well at the tournament. Um, you know, so that's something that we're we're going to concentrate on, and we're going to go in there and be ready to play, and we're going to be prepared. And you know, like we always said, let the chips fall where they may. That was good for the guys. I mean, that's a little before their time. I'm sure some of them maybe don't even know who he was, but um, you know, he talked about you know the the process of what's kind of going on and handling adversity, and uh, you know, a we versus me attitude, and just. You know, kind of hammer and hold some things we've talked about recently. So, um, you know, always good to hear from another voice, too.